नमस्ते वेलकम यू टू एन पी टेल ऑनलाइन सर्टिफिकेशन कोर्स ऑन जियोग्राफिक इंफॉर्मेशन सिस्टम्स आई एम चंदन एम सी पी एच डी स्टूडेंट एट रणबीर एंड चित्रगुप्ता स्कूल ऑफ इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर डिजाइन एंड मैनेजमेंट आई आई टी खड़गपुर टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ टू यूज जी आई एस एज अ सॉफ्टवेयर एंड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर हैंड्स ऑन सेशन वील बी लुकिंग एट वैक्टर फंक्शंस एंड क्वेरिंग ऑपरेशन today we'll cover uh, these concept the first one is vector functions the vector function dissolve how to dissolve various polygons into one single polygon joining tables as we all know uh, if we have any kind of excel sheet with a lot of data let us say population data that excel sheet we can also bring into uh, the qgis and we can join that with uh, the present vector layer we can also split the vectors for example if there is a lake and if i have to split that lake into two equal parts i can do that using split vector function and if i have to merge two uh, different vector layers into a single layer that also i can perform using vector function and finally we will also see how to clip or extract or overlay all these are same terms so how to do this for a particular uh, uh, road segment and then finally we will see how to do a buffer analysis and a spatial query now first of all we will look at the function dissolve for this particular uh, dissolve function we are going to use i'll now go to the qjs uh, interface so here i'll go to layer and add layer add vector layer so as you are all familiar of adding uh, layers to qjs interface i'll directly go to browse so here we have uh, provided you uh, in the data sets folder if you go to vector you can see uh, the shape file by name bbmp watts so this you can say open then say add and then say close bbmp wards is nothing but uh, bbmp stands for brihad bangalore mahanagara palike so these are the wards of uh, bangalore now let us see how to dissolve all these wards and how to see bangalore as a single polygon now to perform this before performing this i'll just go to the attribute table i'll right click on attribute table or open attribute table so here you can see uh, there is object id 1 2 3 4 and assembly constituency number assembly constituency name ward number population uh, and other attributes now if i want to dissolve a particular Uh, polygon layer into one single polygon i need to have a common attribute so since uh, this attribute has been taken from a different source it doesn't have any one particular common attribute for all the rows so what i am going to do is first i will create a common attribute so to create this as i already mentioned in our uh, previous uh, session uh, if you want to create anything in a vector file first you need to edit that is toggle editing mode you have to uh, click it and turn it on once you turn on the toggle editing mode you can go to the attribute table or uh, the open field calculator which opens the field calculator and here i'll put the output field name as dissolve so here it can be a whole number i am not changing anything in the expression tab i am just giving as 1 1 1 any random number you can also give 1 for uh, easy identification i am just giving 1 1 1 so what happens is this particular number will be assigned for all the rows here as a uh, attribute table column let us see how it will add i'll press on okay once that is done you can just scroll to the extreme right here you can see under the dissolve you have 111 for 
all the rows. So, now I have got a common uh, field uh, for dissolving all these words into one particular po polygon layer. So, what I will do is I will save this edits, save and close the attribute table. Now, to dissolve this since uh, BBMP words is a vector layer, the function will be stored in uh, vector. So, go to the menu bar vector and here if you go to the geoprocessing tools, you can find dissolve. You can press on this, it will open a new uh, command box. So, in this the input layer is BBMP words that is nothing but it is in UTM uh, coordinates 32643 that is 43rd zone. Dissolve fields. So, here I need to give the field which we created just now by the name dissolve. So, I will just scroll down and select this dissolve and then say ok. One element is selected under the dissolve field. Now, it is asking dissolved map to uh, whether to save the map or whether to create it as a temporary layer. What I will do here is I will go to browse, save to file and I will save this as a dissolved uh, file new file. So, here I can give it as bbmp underscore dissolve and then say save. So, now all our parameters are set. Now, I can say run. Once the process has su successfully completed, you can close this and now you can see entire Bangalore is under a single polygon. That means, we have dissolved all the ward information and we have created a new polygon or a new polygon vector layer which is having only the Bangalore uh, boundary. If you see the previous one, we have the ward information here, but here we have dissolved everything into one. So, this is how we perform vector dissolve function. Now, let us move to the next function that is called as join. This is very helpful when we have an external uh, excel file uh, which has uh, details in terms of rows and columns. Now, before showing you that I will just go to project and select a new project and I will discard the old one. If you want you can save that also. So, let us just examine the excel sheet which we are going to use now. I will go to data sets in vector. Uh, I have by the name tabular data 2. So, here in the tabular data 2 as we can see uh, we have uh, 4 different stations and again I am referring to the rain gauge uh, stations HD Kote, Biruvalu, Bailukuppe and Bettadapura and we have other information such as taluk to which these rain gauge stations belong the population of that particular place, type whether it is a town or village and that particular literacy, literacy of people. So, let us say now I need to add this information to an already existing uh, shape file. So, what I can do is I will just go to the QGIS interface and here first I will add the vector layer. So, you, you need to go to layer, add layer add vector layer. So, here I will go to browse and I will choose rainfall 4326 is nothing but the uh, rainfall point data which is in lat long system. So, I have chosen the rainfall 4326.shp add and close. Now, you can see 4 points has been added. So, if you want to know the details you can right click and then say open attribute table. So, here you can see there are 4 different places you can arrange it according to ID uh, and uh, this particular uh, attribute has rainfall information, latitude and longitude. Whereas, our excel uh, we have the same 4 stations, but we have different attributes taluk, population, uh, type and literacy. Now, let us try to add this into uh, this particular attribute table. 
to bring the CSV file, I will add this as a vector layer by directly selecting under add vector and here I can choose tabular data 2, open, add and then say close. Now the tabular data has been added. Once again I will go back to the rainfall uh, light long file, right click properties and I will select joins, add join, add new join. So here you can see now the join layer is automatically taking tabular data too. So the join field would be you should now choose any one of the field which is common in both the shape file and the excel sheet. Uh, as I know uh, the join field uh, has id as the common attribute for uh, both of the files. So I will select id in join field and in target field also I will select id and here you have custom field name uh, prefix that means uh, in the new uh, attribute table uh, those attributes which are taken from the excel sheet it is going to put the uh, attribute table or the column name uh, with this extension. So I will just give table underscore that means uh, all the other things will be table underscore uh, population, table underscore uh, literacy, table underscore uh, area something like that. So then I will say ok. So here the new join has been added then you can say apply then press ok. Now uh, our uh, rainfall light long file is ready to view as a uh, added attributes. So here when I open the attribute table you can see earlier it was only id rain gauge uh, light long but after we added uh, the uh, tabular information from the csv file we can also see the table underscore uh, rain gauge name has come again, table underscore taluk, table underscore population, uh, table underscore type, literacy. So this is how we add uh, various uh, columns from an excel sheet to uh, shape file layer. This is about the join function. So next what we are going to see is merging and splitting various layers. So now what we do is I will just clear this project and I will say discard. Next task is we will see how to split a vector layer that is nothing but a polygon layer. So for this particular task I am going to add uh, the previously created uh, Hyderabad lake layer. So I can select Hyderabad lakes that is the shape file, open, add and then say close. Now here you can see the two lakes which were digitized in the pr previous uh, class. So I will just zoom to this particular lake that is Gopi Cheruvu in Hyderabad and if I want to split this into two halves what I can do is I can right click on Hyderabad lakes, toggle editing. So the pencil has been activated and you can see in the editing toolbar all these features has been activated. So now I will take this. Uh, particular uh, tool called split features. I will click on this and wherever I want to split the lake into two halves, I will just start drawing. Once that is drawn, I can right click. So it is finished. Now you can see the lake has been split into two parts. If you want to save this, you can just right click and say toggle editing. So this will save the shape file edits. Now similar to the split function we also have join function or uh, we can also merge different layers, merge different shape files. Let us see how to merge. Before that I will just uh, create a new project, I will say discard and this time I am going to layer, add layer, add vector layer. So here. Uh, let us add uh, two uh, vector layers that is industry uh, which we have given in the vector folder. There are two industries that is industry 1 
and industry 2. You can press and hold control to select multiple files. I have selected industry 1 and industry 2, open, add and then say close. So, here you can see these are point uh, layer uh, shape files. One is in the red color and another one is in orange color. So, now let us say I want to add these two separate shape files into one single shape file. Uh, to do that what we can do is we can go to vector and then we can go to data management tools. There is an option called merge vector layers. I will select this option. In the input layers just go to the browse and select these two. Uh, please make a note here one important thing is if you are trying to merge any two vector layers you have to check for the coordinate information system. Both of them has to be in the same coordinate information system. If one is in uh, lat long and the other one is in UTM then this operation will fail it would not happen. So, you have to make sure that both of these belong to the same uh, coordinate reference system. Once that is done press ok. Then destination CRS since uh, these files belong to Chennai I uh, will just give the destination also as 44 uh, UTM zone 44 and it is asking whether to save the merged layer. So, I will just uh, right click browse and save to file here in the outputs I will save this as industries underscore merged and then say save. Now, you can run the algorithm. So, once you have run the algorithm you can close this window. Now, you can see all the layers have been merged together. If you want to see the difference you can just turn off the merge layer. So, you can see industry 1 and 2 in different color, but once you have merged it will look in the same color. This is how we perform vector merge operation. Now, the next task is to demonstrate clipping operation or it is also called as overlay operation. To do this I will just clear the earlier project and take a new project. Now, I will add two vector layers here that is uh, Mysore district shape file and uh, corresponding uh, Mysore uh, roads. So, here I have something called as DIST underscore roads that is nothing but district roads and one more shape file called DIST that is district. I will open this and then say add and then close this. I will pull the district uh, polygon shape file uh, below and I will keep the district roads above it. So, that I can easily see what are the roads that are coming within the uh, boundary. So, now the task is to uh, clip this road files as per the district boundary. If you see clearly this is the district boundary and these are the roads. So, I need these roads to be clipped exactly according to the district boundary. To do that we can go to vector and here in the geometry tools uh, sorry here in the geo processing tools you can go to clip and input layer will be the district roads and the overlay layer will be district that is nothing but the district polygon and if you want to uh, save this layer you can click on browse save to file. So, here I will call this as district underscore or since this is Mysore district I will name it as Mysore underscore roads and then say save and then run. Now, once the operation is completed I can close this clip tool and I will just for time being disable the district roads which was earlier there. Now, you can see the clipped roads within the district boundary. This is how we can perform vector clip function. Now, the last task of this particular demonstration is 
special querying and buffer. So, to do this I will just clear this previous project. For this particular operation I will add two more vector layers that is bus stop and industry. So, I will just take industry 2 shape file and I will also take bus stop 1 shape file open add and then say close. So, now whatever features that are marked in red color are showing the bus stops and whatever features marked in orange color are showing the industries. These particular files belong to uh, UTM zone uh, 44 that is uh, nothing but uh, uh, this we have taken Chennai. If you want to see where these points are you can just go to web that is the plugin quick map service and search QMS here we can add uh, Google uh, satellite or any any other base image which you want. Now, here we can see uh, this is the Chennai uh, city and these are various points bus stops and industries. Now, the task is to uh, identify those uh, industries uh, which are inside uh, 500 meter buffer of uh, the bus stops I mean which are within the proximity to bus stops. So, this kind of spatial query we can do. So, to do that what we can do is uh, first we need to create a buffer. So, for creating a buffer you need to go to vector geoprocessing tools and then say buffer. So, a new tab has been opened. So, here I am going to create buffer for bus stops by how much distance. So, here you can specify the distance I will give it as 500 meters. So, our final aim is to find out the industries which are within the 500 uh, meter buffer of the bus stops. <coughs> so, once you give the distance you can just uh, go down and you can select the buffered layer where it can save go to browse save to file. Here I will save as bus stop underscore buffer and then say save and then say run. So, now we have created a buffer of 500 meters from the existing bus stop. I will just close the buffer toolbar and I will drop down this buffer to the bottom so that we can easily uh, see the other points. So, now you can see for all bus stops it has created a 500 meter buffer. Now, our task is to find out which industries fall within this 500 meter buffer from the bus stop. So, to do that what we can do is uh, we can use a tool called extract by location. So, we go to the processing uh, uh, menu bar, go to the tool box. So, here you can just start typing the name that is extract by location. So, here you can find this under vector selection extract by location you can double click. Now, extract features from you need to find uh, the industries. So, I will just put industries intersecting with uh, that is buffered. So, industries which are falling within the buffered ones I am going to take only that as an output layer. So, the output layer I would just save to the file. So, this is called as industry buffer and then say save. Now, again I, I want to mention here that if you want to perform this kind of vector operation, uh, you have to make sure that these two are in the same projection system that is uh, EPSG 32644 and even the buffer layer is in EPSG 32644. Once you are thorough with this you can just say run and now we have extracted uh, those locations which are 500 meters from the 
bus stop. So, these are highlighted in uh, uh, some purple color. If you want to see it more clearly, you can just right click, go to properties and here in the symbology tab, you can choose this marker and you can choose any other different color for that. So, as of now, let us say I will create this as a plus mark and then say apply. Okay. So, here you can see these are the points which are falling within the 200 uh, sorry within the 500 meter uh, buffer from the bus stop. For example, there is a bus stop here and these are the 5 different industries which are present within the 500 meter from the bus stop. So, this is how we perform the vector functions and uh, to summarize today's class, uh, we have seen various vector functions uh, such as we started from the BBMP uh, wards and we also saw how to uh, dissolve this particular uh, BBMP wards and finally, we uh, saw how to join the tables. Uh, how we join from a CSV data that is nothing but uh, you can open in an excel sheet and how we will integrate this data into the rainfall data and we saw how to split a lake into two parts and we saw how to merge if we have two different industry layers and then we also saw uh, clipping or extraction of uh, the road layers and finally, we also saw buffer and the spatial query. Uh, what are the industries which are falling within 500 meters of uh, the uh, bus stop. So, in the next class we will see uh, various uh, raster functions till then thank you very much.